Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm just really excited because I've just done a pour with violets and golds and bronze and absolutely love the colour scheme. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So while I've got all my paints out still here on my, on my desk, I'm going to do another Dutch pour with the same colours. I'm going to do a split colour base this time. So half of it um, white and half of it Caput Morton Violet. Um, and I'm going to do, do the design at the split where the colours meet. Um, I'm really excited. The colours are gorgeous. So um, let me show you. This is what I'm using for the pour. I'm doing an Amsterdam white base. Then the uh, Dutch pour design colours, lots of Amsterdam colours. Caput Morton Violet. Um, permanent Blue Violet. I've got ultramarine violet, pearl violet, bronze, and then one little Pebio Studio Acrylics colour, um, iridescent precious gold. Um, all of these colours I've mixed with this, with um, American Flood Fluoratrol, and the way I've mixed that is two parts Fluoratrol to one part paint to three quarters of a part water, except for the metallic ones where I've added a bit more water, so it's more like one part water. Um, and all of the measurements are done by weight. So, um, for example, when I mix a little pot, um, let me show you, I have just mixed this little pot of the, um, the lighter colour. Um, I mixed in there 30 grams of Fluoratrol here, and then I mixed 15 grams of this paint, and then 11 and a half or 12 grams of water. So that's how I've mixed it. So it gives me this consistency. So it's quite nice and runny. It doesn't really leave a mound. Maybe very, very slight trace, a very tiny mound. This is on the slightly thicker side, I would say. I might add a splash more water. Or I might just leave it, I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using. So um, let's get started. I'm going for a bigger canvas this time. It's uh, 18 inches by 24 inches. I've drawn on here a curved line. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, a curved line because I'm going to do a split base, but it's not going to be a straight line. It's going to be a curved split base um, because I want to just see what it will look like. So just put the white on first. Right, and then I've mixed, look at this, amazing Caput Mortem Violet. This is my all-time favourite colour since paint pouring. <laughs> um, absolutely love it. Is it pink? Is it purple? It's just a beautiful, beautiful violet. Right, that's my colours down. Um, as you can see, it's not a straight line. Doesn't matter at all. Right, I'm going to put some colours down. The contrast between these two colours is amazing. Right, so I'm going to start with the dark purple. It's not going to, it's going to be a slightly wavy line. It won't be a straight line. And then I'm going to go for the bronze. Now in my last pour, it was the bronze and the gold that just created the most amazing, amazing cells. Oops. So I'm keen to probably put quite a bit of that in. Oh, it's just dripped up here, don't want that. Right, then the ultramarine violet. Um, I'm just going to go for a little bit more of that. I'm 
put next, I think, I'm going to mix this up a little bit. I think I'm going to put some of the Caput Morton Violet on, but just a hint. And then just wondering about actually putting a little bit of white. Let's just go for a tiny bit of white in it as well. Then some gold. And then I think I'm going to go back with a little bit more of the really deep purple because this is the real contrast colour between the white and the Caput Mortem violet. And then to finish, just a little bit of the pearl white, the pearl violet. And that is probably too much paint. Never mind, it's down. Right. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm so excited though. These colours are so pretty. So this is going to be predominantly bronze and gold painting now, I think. Right, I've got some just dripped it up here doesn't really matter because it's all going to get blown out right so to blow this out I'm going to start here and then blow upwards I think so to start with I think I'll blow into the white where there's the biggest space I'm just going to have to do it quite slowly and quite carefully looking so pretty the only thing is I don't really want that to go over the edge I don't think I can do anything about that though no it's just gonna have to go it's just gonna have to drip over same there it's already dripping over as well oh my goodness the cells the cells the cells they're amazing not very many cells when I initially blew this out but here and here, oh my goodness. Oh, I love this. Oh, I am so, so pleased with this. This is looking gorgeous. I'm gonna try this time and not do too much tweaking with it because with the last one, I decided to blow on the edges so much that I ended up deliberately blowing them all over the edge. So I didn't get the, the sort of the petal appearance of a Dutch pour. Yeah, this is all going over. That's a bit of a shame. Right, just a little bit, just a little bit of tweaking around, I think. What I'm doing here is deliberately now blowing that over the edge and I'm going to here as well because otherwise it will just look like one little bit that's dripped down. It won't look right.
So I finished. It took me a while. I said I wasn't going to do much blowing around. I did loads. So the main reason I did extra was because these two petals clearly were um, flowing over the edge. Um, so I decided to help them a little bit just to get the whole width of the petal over the edge and most of it up there because otherwise it would just look like a little single drip over the edge and that would have looked terrible so I then stood back and I thought well if those two petals are going over I actually think this petal here needs to go over and maybe this one here so what you saw me doing was just adding lots more paint because I started to try and blow this one down but there just wasn't enough paint there there wasn't enough color so I've added um, and I'm actually really pleased because it's blended really well I think if I was adding more paint to the white it would have stuck out like a sore thumb but actually because I've added it on the cap at Mortem side the violet side I actually I'm really happy with it um, because I guess because the contrast between the design and the the, ba the base is less um, so let me take you in for a close-up because it's so so pretty let's just make it a bit lighter there we go can you oh my goodness the sparkle why won't it focus there we go focus better now the cells are absolutely gorgeous this color scheme is incredible I am so happy with it um, just so so pretty that that's probably my favorite little band of cells there but the cells are everywhere really really pretty and um, but also where there aren't cells like here you've just got the lines of all the colors up next to each other I love it um, I didn't torch very much so these cells here are natural these have just come up by themselves I'm worried if I torch I'm very tempted to torch here I'm very tempted to but if I do torch I think I'll get just so many tiny tiny little specks and I really don't want that um, instead I'm quite happy with the big chunks of colour so composition wise I'm happy I'm really liking the, the, the negative space the white space and the Caput Morton violet space right I'll be back when it's dry just look at these colours. I love the colours so much. Um, initially, I was slightly disappointed by the violet base because it's gone much darker, but I knew it was going to go darker. But actually, if you forget how it looked when it was wet, when it was lighter and brighter, oh, it's just such a gorgeous colour. And then that violet next to the gold and the other purples, oh, I love it. It's so, so pretty. Um, right, let me take you in for a close-up. There's so much to show you. Um, just look at all the detail, all the gorgeous, the beautiful colours, the lines, the cells. I just, I'm so, so happy with this colour combination. So you've got the really, really dark violet there, the, the violet blue and the gold cells. I love in the centre of the Dutch pour how you get these lines. So all the colours are right up next to each other. Um, oh, sorry, the sun's reflecting a little bit through the door just it's just gorgeous and then there's that band of cells that's dried beautifully in that section there um and then of course this will be very shimmery let me just focus it just try and show you can you see how iridescent it is so so shimmery um and i'm really really happy with the composition i've not done a composition quite like this before i'm really pleased with it so thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of this composition, this colour scheme. Um, any thoughts you have, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I hope everyone's having a lovely, warm day. Take care, everyone. Bye.